the best of times reborn youtube torch video flashlight it is currently 6 33 pm on tuesday the 16th of july 2024 and the current temperature is let me let it load just takes those few seconds to load it says 18.4 degrees celsius 75 percent humidity uh, we're gonna shine the torches across these three aliexpress torches which you'll see pictures of before for my talking and all that so you can see what they are and that this one that i would i'm going to call a cob light because it's just a cob light a few different settings the little square one then there's the i know we'll say it's just uh, i don't know what you call this one it, it's more like a keyring one but it hasn't got a keyring on it and then there's a the longer one so try and name them as best I can. But what we're gonna do straight away is face the cameras across. I mean, face the camera across and shine the torches. And then we're gonna walk across the field, which probably won't be shown in video. And so we're not shining back towards the cars. If you watch my other torch videos, you'll see how annoying that can be for me trying to do this. But this is the, firstly, we're gonna shine the cob light. The little square one. Shine that out under the field. So that's basically in line with the camera facing out. Okay, the next setting is a button on. It does a few different settings, but I can't get it to do There we go. Brightest. Next one down and then that. We'll do the brightest. Face it down and around. I think this one here would be perfect for inside at home or to have on your bag if you're walking along so people can see you. I actually like a red version of this one. If I can get a red version of this from AliExpress, it's got the little carabiner built into it, I'd be happy with that. All right, let's try the biggest one out of the three, which you'll see in the pictures, the big long one, facing it straight across. Yeah, I can see it on the, on the trees and that. And face it along here to the big, big long beam. It, I don't think it's fully dark enough yet though to really see it. So they all seem, all the AliExpress ones seem to have the, um, the strobe. What I'm going to do is turn the camera around so I can see the actual screen when I'm doing the recording so I can see what it's seeing. And uh, I'll be back. Where I want it to, yeah. Okay, well, we'll shine that one across again. The bigger one. That's not the worst. Still getting darker though. You've got the wide roundness where it floods out, but then you've got the, the beam. We'll have a better look when it gets darker. We'll do another test. Like the one where I walk out, like I normally do, to give you an idea. But this is basically two cricket pitches, cricket fields, soccer fields in one. So anyway, let's go to the um, the sort of keyring light, basic type of thing. I like this one. It's my favourite out of these small ones. Just a bit of fun. A tie beam. That's good for like having it in a car, having it at home, having it in a bag and that, just in case you need it. So it's got two LEDs on the front. You can go between them, low, bright, like that. That's one or two. That's two on at the full brightness. Not really a beam, it's more just a yeah, floodlight type of thing. But then, when you turn that off, there's actually sort of a cob light on the side. Let me twist the button for it. So you'll see it. You've got to hold your finger on it there. Go to the red. Does like a police type light. So it's a multi, multi sort of thing. It's not much bigger than a stick of gum. You now the big like PK Wrigley's type of thing from years ago. That probably still buy it in some countries, probably still buy it here too, but it's about that size in length. 
of a full stick of gum. So anyway, we're going to go across the other side of the field. So we'll be back in a sec. I'll be using the um, iron horse on the way across. I've got more chance of being able to see it. It's not using the battery of these. So we can continue on with the video when we get across there. We're back across on the other side now, fairly in line with the other with the other side. So what we're going to do is to test like we normally do, where we're about two or three meters, um, shine the big torch, then the cob light, then the smaller one, the um, keyring, or one eye class is a keyring one, but it's got no keyring spot. You'll see it in the pictures anyway, one about the size of chewing gum packet. And uh, yeah, about the size, about the length of a AA battery even. Yeah, around about that, but anyway. So it'd be big, cob, then the other one. So this is a big one, about three meters away, then I'll go back another three, then another three like that. So this is high beam, directly at the camera, and on the ground around it, low beam, strobe, and we'll go to the cob light, second one. So if I run out of range of the microphone, you know what's what, there'll be a gap in between. This is the cob, full brightness, facing the camera, looking around on the ground, low brightness, facing straight at the camera and then down. facing straight at it and then around so the way it'll turn out a lot of the time is you'll be able to see the, the the light on my microphone and that'll give you an idea and on my watch it'll show you where I am to give you an idea where to look and that it's the best way to do it now the um, one that's basically the size of a stick of gum that's one one brightness like one LED on so it's the lowest Shine it around so you get an idea. It's two LEDs on, so that's the, the brightest it gets. Shine it around, like we always do. Back over there. Then we've got the ones on the side that I was showing earlier. Got to hold your finger down on it. Boom. Well, did it wrong. There go that. And the red light. So I don't know how well you can see that, but I'll shine that on the ground in front of me and straight ahead. Be a good one. Put out a clip on it to put on a backpack. And then like the police sort of light that it's got. I personally wouldn't use that much. So I'm in an emergency situation. So that's the three. Now I'm going to go back approximately three metres. I'm going diagonal compared to what I normally do. I'll walk backwards so that the microphone still connects. Some more chance. So it'll be the biggest light, <coughs> the cob, and then the, the gum light, gum stick light. I've had people call on that. So we're about the three metres past that. So about six metres or so. Maybe a little bit more. The main big light, full brightness straight at the camera. Move it around on the ground, full brightness. You can sort of see the beam, built straight up. The beam looks pretty good. It looks, now it's getting darker, it looks a lot nicer. The beam out of it looks nicer. There's low beam straight at the camera, straight at the camera now, and then around. We'll do, we'll do 360 of all these, where it's facing the ground and up a bit. I just don't want the microphone to turn off and it's facing straight at the camera again. And the strobe around a little bit. We don't do the strobe for too long. And always remember with these videos, there's always flashing lights. So if you're um, sensitive to that, I wouldn't recommend watching them. Because 
all these AliExpress lights and a lot of the other lights, flashlights, torches, have strobe lights of some kind. So this is the cob light, full brightness, straight ahead towards the camera, around. I won't go 360 because I don't want to lose the, um, the audio. Dim, straight ahead, moving around a bit, facing down. Strobe straight ahead and around. I'll face that straight up. See if you can actually see it in the camera. Probably won't show up in the camera. And then off. And we'll go to the, we'll call it a gumstick light there. It's easier for people to work out what I'm talking about. Straight ahead. Two LEDs. Two LEDs, the brightest. Down on the ground. And around a bit. There's one LED. There's one LED. So it's just got, it's got one on one side, one on the other. There we go, different brightnesses. Facing straight at it. Okay, then we'll go to the sort of a cob light on there that cycles through. Face that straight ahead. So only you've got to hold the brightener, hold the button down for a sec. About two or three seconds, so straight ahead and down on the ground. It's a good little fill light for like in a car or whatever if you're having issues. And it's magnetized too on the end of it. There's the red light. Don't know if that'll show up on here. But the, yeah, it's magnetized on the very end of it and it does work. There's a police sort of light. Yeah, I have it on, I've had it on a fridge and I've had it on a filing cabinet. No worries at all. Okay, now the cob light. Give me a few seconds. Get the cobblight out of my pocket. Cobblight full brightness. Straight ahead, around. Low brightness, strobe. And then we'll go back another three meters or so. And it'll be big light. Oh, I think I've yeah, wrecked the order of it. But anyway, I'm saying it anyway, so you should be able to hear it. The order of it will be the big light, cob light, then the gum stick light. Okay, straight ahead on the big one, straight, straight at the camera, down around on the ground. Around a bit. Low beam straight ahead. Strobe straight ahead. Low beam, moving it around. I forgot to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got a gum stick. Stick of gum, whatever you want to call it. Straight at the camera. That's two. That's one LED. Move that around. Low beam, it's the lowest on the one. It's too early to do something, I've got to look at it to see what it's showing. Okay, then the sort of a cob light on the back, on the top. Red light, shining on the ground, shining straight ahead. And the police type one on the ground, straight ahead and straight up. And the cob light, and then we'll go back another three, approximately. Full brightness, straight ahead on the ground around. Low brightness, low beam. Strobe, boom. All right, we'll go back a bit more. Hopefully. Last time the microphone stayed on the majority of the time, so hopefully it will this time. It's all line of sight, nothing in the way. Okay, big light. This part doesn't have a quicker pitch, like the other side. Straight ahead at the, at the camera, on the ground around it. Give you an idea. 
and around a bit. Done the strobe. Straight ahead. No long. Gum stick. Stick a gum, whatever you want to call it. And that's one. Only did low. High is one. That's dual LED two. That was higher than low. High and then pan it around a bit. Move it around. Now the ones on the, well, I guess at the top actually. The cob light. Straight ahead and around. Red light. Place that down in front of me and around. So. Let me know in the comments if you can see this one from this distance. Wow. And the police type one. Don't want to distract people, so I won't do that for too long. People are likely to be watching from the car. So we're the sports ground. Okay, we're back about another three, maybe five meters. Straight ahead, big one. Pull brightness, low beam. Strobe, full brightness, shining it around on the ground. Shine it behind a little bit without me actually turning. So I've got to switch hands, shine it across as I can. Shining it up into the trees, it looks really good from here. I'll wait for some cars to go past so I can shine it across the other side. I don't know that you'd be able to see it, but I can see it on these trees over here, up the top. Yeah, I'm actually impressed for the for the size and the price. All these were under, I think they were under ten dollars each. Yeah, I'll have the prices on the start of the video anyway, like I did last time. Okay, now to the gumstick one. See, there's so many settings it takes a bit. There we go. There's the right button. Might help. That's the two LEDs on full brightness. Low brightness, full brightness, and panning around a little bit. It's not a beam, it's more just a spotlight type of thing. But I would highly recommend it though. It's great. Then we'll go to the light on the top. Let's go right, it's the full, around. Straight ahead at it, at the camera. Red light, straight ahead. And panning it around a little bit on the ground. I think in full, full darkness that would show up a bit better. And the police type lights again. I'll show them closer later. I, I did that earlier, so it's not too bad. Then we'll get the cob light. Just gives you an idea. I think some of these would be good for power outages, cyclones, things like that. You know, if you can't afford a lot of money. The, the cob light's got a magnet on it too and it works on a fridge too. I wouldn't put it on a car and drive along. No, either of these, but you know, on a magnetized surface like a fridge or a um, filing cabinet like I've tried, yeah, perfectly fine. Just be careful with them. This doesn't have any indication, the cob light, of when it's fully charged, so you just leave it plugged in as much as you can. When you, when you know you're gonna need it, or you've got a chance of needing it, after you've used it a fair bit or whatever. So this is full brightness, cob light, facing straight at the camera, as best as I can face it at it, and around on the ground a bit. Give you an idea. All right, that's the different brightnesses. Now we'll go back bit further hopefully you're still hearing me but it'll be big light gum stick cob light just in case the audio cuts out straight ahead around go about a 180 so you got a chance 
there's the low beam, low brightness, straight ahead and then around on the ground. Like for the prices, I'm impressed, this is straight, straight ahead and then around. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed for the prices. Like that big one that I said in my other, I think it was the first video, where I said that I put it on the table and face it up at the sky with the cob light on. I face it up at the ceiling at home when there's a power outage, never had an issue. That was that big rectangle one with a handle on it. It might have been the second, yeah, that was on the first video. I showed that as a bonus, AliExpress one. Yeah, with the Phillips torch. Um, was it with the Energizer ones? Yeah. And the Iron Horse. I think it might have been that one. It was one of the videos anyway, you'll see it. Okay, this is the gumstick one. Full brightness, two LEDs. Shining around on the ground, straight ahead at the camera. Low brightness, one LED. Straight ahead, around. And then the front light, the top one. Co sort of a cob light. You gotta hold the button down. Straight ahead, around. Red light, I'd love to know. I'm wondering myself how far the red light will go. Well, you can still see it a bit. So like a bike light. And the police type one, straight ahead. And around on the ground. Okay, now cob light. Then we'll go back a bit further. Don't need to go back too much further, but just to get an idea. Full brightness, around on the ground in front of me. Low brightness. Straight ahead and around. Strobe around. What's that? We'll go back a bit further. About the distance of what the um, cricket pitch is in the other videos. Pretty much. Yeah, so there's full brightness at the camera. Person directly at the camera. Around on the ground. Different distances, like close to the camera, further back towards me, and around. Just to see how clear the beam, how clean the beam is too. Yeah, I like it. I'm actually impressed with the price. If you watch the first video, I was shining up to the um, goalpost. I can actually see the goalpost. That's pretty good with it. Max Stocks truck. But we'll wait for that to go past, then I'll do a bit of a 360 with this one. Hopefully the microphone, if it disconnects, hopefully it reconnects. Okay. Last 360. All right, we'll come back now. And what I'll do is I'll do a cross like I normally do towards the end. So hopefully you enjoy watching these videos. It gives you an idea. These are all bought off. These three are bought off AliExpress in Australia. I mean, I'm in Australia. And that, they took less than a week to come, which is phenomenal for AliExpress. Quite happy with that. So, anyway, well, feel free to look at my other videos in the playlist. If you wanna see about our local town where I live, have a look at the Innisfail playlist, it's Cairns playlist as well. Some tech playlists and radio stuff, like shortwave radio and all that if you're interested. Okay, so we're gonna, Shine the beam across of the main one, the first, the big one. So you can see it across the camera. So hopefully, hopefully you can see the beam. I think the spotlight part might be a little bit too, too wide for it to see. I like how on the other one, it sort of went across, looked like a lightsaber. It's pretty cool. Shine it around, shine it up. Yeah, see that? Sort of see it on camera. All right, that's the that's the big one. And we'll go the gumstick one, straight across. Move it around a bit, like before. Poor brightness. Straight across in line. 
basing it up and, and down, around, out towards the center of the field. Back down, get the cob light on it, That's sort of a cob light. Shine it around on the ground. Yeah, you can see your way around a little bit with this, with this particular part and with this light all together. So, yeah, it's pretty good. We'll change the next one. It's a red light. Shine that around on the ground. See if you can be able to see it a bit. Yeah, I can see that on the little screen on the camera. It's pretty cool. Then the one that's like police light. So definitely be careful watching these if you're sensitive to flashing lights in my videos. Um, the the NSF Island Cairns ones and things like that, it's different. Shortwave than that, but the torch ones. All right, well, I'm going to go red. I want to see how far away I can see the red. I'm going to keep it at about waist height and walk back, backwards, and just see. Well, I can't see the screen. Actually, if I connected it to my phone, I could probably see it and see how far it shows. As long as it doesn't um, disconnect from the phone. Let's have a look. Get it connected to the phone. That way I just see it in a bigger screen, that's all. There we go. Yeah, I can still see it. So far. Still in line with it and can see it. So I'll see it, I'm a fair way back. I'm not as far back as I went in the torch test though. Do bear with me. Not as far back. Still though, it's pretty good still being able to see it. Move it around so you know it's it and not something else. Like on a car and that. Basically in the middle of the screen, just above the lights of the highway where you can see the light the red light yeah it's quite impressive still being able to see it all this distance about halfway across the field yeah i'd say so halfway across wow that's good still see it still see it go to the um That's the full brightness of the white part of the torch. Like the two LEDs. Yeah, I can still see that. I can see that it's shining on the ground in front of me too. To the beam around like that. Oh, it's facing straight at the camera. Should be able to tell. Behind me a bit. In front and across. Left the big one back with the camera, so I'll be able to see that, but I'll do the cob light as I walk back. That's the cob light on full. Uh, at about waist height, about stomach height actually. Walking back. Of course there'll be some photos at the start of the different lights. There'll be the um, so if you missed it, rewind, go to the start. You'll see the prices in Australian dollars, that is, on AliExpress for these. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Best of Times urging you to enjoy your tech.